All right, uh, geese. Yeah, they generally uh, will just walk away and kind of saunter off to the side of the field. They don't even get too disturbed. Um, but uh, what do you call it? Got those guys over there. The rest of the field is clear. Um, this here is a little 110 gram, not even, I don't think, a uh, little KF1 uh, Delta. I'm, I'm on my fourth speed controller because uh, they seem to not agree with the tiny little motors and I didn't have a, one of those little BL Heli 6 amps and I think this one's going to work out well. So let's give this a flight. I flew this already on um, a 350 2S and this is now a, a 500 2S. And I just have better luck with this size. I, um, it was getting a little irritating trying to get those uh, smaller power systems to work. This one seems to be um, better, and hopefully this works well. Here we go. Oh, they did run. Oh, well. A lot of confusion in the goose world. It's okay. I'll find another field. And uh, this guy, I should have put some color on top. So I can see what the heck's going on. The sea control seems to be behaving nicely. Plenty of pep and step. And uh, this plane is, uh, I'm going to call that trimmed. Daily a climb. And uh, it's level. Yeah, that'll just keep going. That's pretty cool. I set the brake on the speed controller, but uh, the prop doesn't actually stop moving. It's okay. Doesn't make it that much of a difference. Let's see if I can stall it. <coughs> Stop the prop. Eh, not really. It still glides okay. Wow. <coughs> still glides okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Flies good. Nice and quick. Well, it's about as quick as it's going to be for this little size. Hope I'm not overheating the motor. I really should bring it in and double check that. So what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just give it a little punch out there and uh, glide it back and see what that motor temperature is. Yeah. Get over there quick. And the motor is warm but not hot. Sort of warm. I mean, it's not, it's not really. I mean, it's kind of chilly out here. It's about... Uh, 40 degrees, <clears throat> so it is pretty cool, and that motor is sort of warm. Hello. Right, I gotta practice launching this thing. <laughs> that was a pretty aerial launch. Let's try this again. I'm gonna have to move the CG back slightly. Let's see how that goes. I mean, there is no wind today, so I can play with that. I'm going to move the CG back just a hair. I'm going to put this about uh, there. And we'll see what happens now. Maybe a little easier to launch. It's got torque roll. That's what the, that's what the issue is. So if I throw it, throw it uh, with a little angle to the left, it'll pull right. Seems to pull right. <coughs> the reverse rotation motor, and um, it's pretty powerful for this size plane, and uh, it just pulls over to one side. Flies good though. Could trim the trim the prop down slightly to um, make it less torquey. That could be an option.
would decrease the pitch. But I like the I like the speed on it, so I wouldn't decrease the pitch too much. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it kind of flops over like that when you lose airspeed. It's kind of strange. I guess you can't, you can only go so slow. And maybe that has to do with uh, moving the CG back, that's possible too. A little, a little hairy right there. Flying good though. Nice and quiet with the prop on the front. Oh, there we go. Stopped right there. Might take a... Might take a little off this uh, prop. Oh, there we go. It stopped. Yeah, pull power right there. Let's see. Half throttle. Yeah, it'll cruise at half throttle. What's the deal with that there? It's not like it got stuck. I wonder if the, uh, let me make sure the, um, elevons are free. Because they get kind of close to those, uh, verticals. They could be binding up a little bit. That's a possibility. I thought they were free, but what do I know? Alright, got a little beep from the transmitter. That probably means the five minutes on the throttle is, is up. I'm going to bring it in, and uh, we'll run another pack. Yeah, I like that glide, but um, I don't like the quirkiness. So I'm going to put the battery back where... I had originally. We'll see if that goes away. I'll try to uh, launch it a little better. Kind of center the battery on that little spot. I don't know if you can see that. Among the goose poop. Dried goose poop. Um, centered the battery on that spot. And uh, that should be little bit more nose heavy. Reset the flight on the timer. Reset flight. Five minutes. Okay. I'm gonna, let's see, if it's gonna pull that way, I'm gonna fly it, give it a, a flick this way. There's no wind. We'll give it about half throttle and flick it. Yeah. A little bit of, a little bit of tend to the left, and it pulls to the right to straighten itself out. Not bad, flying good. It's really smooth. It's hard to tell though. There's no wind, so it's it's hard to tell if it's uh hard to tell if it's the um you know it's the lack of turbulence or the stability of the plane. On a crappier day it'll be uh, a little more telling. You can cruise it around half throttle and it's pretty happy. And it's kind of a lot of diminishing returns with this with this prop I think. It's a little I think it's a little over propped. I mean, it's got good, it's got really good power, but uh, I think the the motor is kind of being pushed a little hard when it gets to the top end. So a smaller prop might be better. This is 
pretty nice though. I should check those elevons. It doesn't matter. I don't have anything to trim them up with anyway. Yeah, it doesn't uh, doesn't like those little shop maneuvers. It's uh, a little touchy on that. Not like it's gonna spin out or anything, but it could lose it like a little bit, and if I'm too low, I'll just trash it. So. I don't really want to do that yet. Yeah. Stupid things like that, too low, it doesn't like. Which is, you know, just fine. For a little plane like that, you kind of want to do stupid things low. <laughs> like that. That's okay. You keep the speed up and it seems happy. Let's go up high and try to get upset it. Yeah, it pops to one side. It's weird. It doesn't like a loop. It like spins and twirls or something. It's kind of strange. Yeah. <laughs> it flips. <laughs> yeah, it's a strange little little quirk. It's okay. Nothing terrible about that. It's going way too slow and making too tight turns. It's going to do weird stuff. See how low and slow we can go. At least slow. Yeah, it goes somewhat slow. Gets a little stally though. I think that the, what do you call it? The 500s kind of weighing it a little bit so it likes the speed. Maybe that's what it is, like you might have overloaded it a little bit. That's fine. I mean, I, I, I don't really need to fly it that slow anyway. It's not what this thing is meant for. It's not bad though. It's actually really nice. I want to bring it in and do one more practice launch and uh, they'll bring it in and finish it up and get out of here. Gotta go to work, unfortunately. Ooh, almost hit the box. That would suck. All right, let's do a quick practice launch. Ah, a little wind. There's like no wind, so it's kind of hard to judge what to do here. But um, I'm gonna flick it this way. It's gonna pull that way, but I'm gonna give about half throttle. Okay. It's not that bad, really. Wow, 
box is behind me, so I'll bring it in the front of me. That's good enough. One more, one more. <coughs> oh, now I got a little wind. Let's try that. Where are you? Yeah, there's the wind. I can give more of an upward door. Then it's kind of prepared for that, uh... That twist. Awesome. Alright, um, little KF1, uh, Delta. Thanks for watching.